I saw a video on Facebook that remind me my past pains experience. When I saw the video, I cried because it remind me my past experience. What a friend did to me. Sometimes a friend can cost your life. If you are not careful, you could commit suicide. This happened to me. I wish it never happened to me. Ray Rock on it. Hello, family. My name is Anastasia Patience. I am a guide to wellness and emotional well being. If you want to learn more about practical and effective ways to find peace and balance in life, or if you just want to expand your knowledge, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future video if I am again. Family today, I just want to share a, a, just a quick and short and interesting experience with you, family, because you are my family, and if you are not there, I am not there, okay? So, um... I want to tell you something that it happened. I, I, I saw this video three days ago and now it's, it really reminded me, uh, my past experience. Okay. There was a lady who was, I, I can't, I don't know how to explain that. There's a lady on Facebook who was disgracing greatly a fellow woman. Okay. She said all kind of dirty word insult about her friend. Okay. So this lady, uh, probably they were friends and now they are no more friends. So she came up, she came on Facebook, insulting the other lady. She insulted her. She insulted even her private part. I mean, she, she, she insulted her in such a way that no logical person could do that. Okay. When I watched the video, I was really upset because I have been through that she used a word that no one should use that for her fellow woman she insulted her that she, her private part smells excuse me to say her private part is dirty smelled i mean she used all kind of words words that you could not imagine which is unacceptable i always said unacceptable because there are some things you need to put yourself in that person's uh, position okay but I realized that in this life, especially we women, when we are friends and we have some secrets or some, yeah, some secrets in between us, because when you are friends, there are so many things you can do together. Nobody else knows. Only you, both of you knows about that. And maybe you will say something, you discuss something about anything, I mean, I mean, about life or anything about your relationship, about your friends, about the other person. It's some, sometimes it's not something bad, but it's in between both of you, okay? But I realize that there are some wicked people all out there when any dispute or any misunderstanding break up in between their friends, every hidden things, past things that they did for past maybe five years, ten years, or nobody were there when they did it, just to pay, just to revenge the other friend, they will reveal all those things outside. They will bring every hidden things outside. Forgotten that if somebody do that to you, you might not like it. So why do you have to do that? When a misunderstanding happens between friends, you just need to be angry. You know, even the Bible says that. The Bible says in Ephesians, um, to, Ephesians 4 verse 25 to 30 that, we should be angry, but we shouldn't let the sun go down on our anger. And also, we should be careful what we speak out. We should not speak any corrupt word to come out of our mouth, but we should say something that is, uh, I mean, beneficial for the hearers. Though people that will hear those words from us, we should say something that encourage them, not something that discourage them. If we call ourselves so-called Christians, you know, but there are some women around there are some women out there, when anything happens, they will not leave even one thing behind. They will say out everything that you both did together just to revenge the person or just to destroy the person. Sometimes when I think about this, I don't understand how people can react so quick or just forgotten the best, the, 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 the best time and just only remember the bad time, you know. It's sometimes I can't 
It's just beyond my imagination. So as I was saying, this lady tried to insult this dirty, the other friend, very much on social media. Uh, and then forgotten, you know, sometimes God is so good. When she did this, it was really, it, the video really went viral, okay? And um, actually when I saw this, I really cried because I went through the same situation. Someone did the same thing to me, not once, not twice. And then when I saw this video, I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what happened to me. And it really reminded me of my pains. And I was really upset. But thanks God, God's so good. You know, sometimes God is so wonderful. She came out, you know, the reason why I'm here sharing this experience with you guys is that never try to revenge somebody, especially when you call yourself a friend, when you have a friend, a friend that you did many things together. A friend that you spend bad time together, best time together, you laugh together, you share many things together. When any misunderstanding break up between you people, don't bring everything, don't bring all the secrets out because you might thinking that you are going to destroy your friend, but forgotten that there are someone also there waiting for you to destroy you. Okay? So as I was saying, this lady intentionally did cover her eyes, insulted this friend, dirty her, made, I mean, she destroyed her on social media. Less than three days, another friend of her came out and brought out so many secrets about her also. You know, even things that she, the, her other friend came out and said about her, even it was wiser than what the way she treated the other person. You see, less than five days, another politician came out and said, out, it started insulting her. You know, there's another man, a man, okay, not a woman. She, he came out... It, it, insulting this lady and then she, within a second the moment she heard the man talking about her on social media she put on her camera and then started insulting or rep replying back to the politician you know this is so disgraceful and i always say that this is how god works okay you thinking that you are destroying your other friend not knowing you also have an enemy somewhere when the other friend came out and said many things even said that she should, she dare her, she should go and make DNA about her baby. You know, she didn't reply her. She didn't say anything. But when the politician came out and started insulting her about her past life, she got mad. She went, really, she went crazy. She got mad. She came up and she started re replying and saying many things. She start crying. And I said, oh my God. You see how God works. So if you see the whole thing, the first friend that she destroyed, okay, is destroying or saying many things, insulting her, her other friend for the first day, less than one week, two people came out, attack her. This is how God works. When you are friends, when anything happens, just be angry, say little things and leave the rest behind. Don't over say it. Don't overdo it. Sometimes, or mostly we women, we like revenge. When you go to revenge, think twice because you had a bad time with that person. You had a good time with that person. You had a secret with that person. Somebody's friend is somebody's friend. You, is she or he is your friend? You had many things together in secret, okay? You mean that she offended you, he offended you, so you coming out to reveal every secret about her, forgotten that God is up there. One day somebody will do the same thing to you. So, family, to not make my video longer, what I am here just to say that never revenge. And when you are angry, don't over say. Just watch out your mouth because there are so many things in our hearts. That is what they say, the matters of the heart. There are so many things inside of us, so many things inside of our, our mind. And if we don't bring it out, nothing may happen. Something might happen. There are so many things in our hearts. If we bring it out, it can cause disaster. It can cause somebody's life. There are so many things when you bring it out, it can save somebody. It can give a success to somebody's life. But which one are you choosing to bring out from your heart? Whatever the situation is, let it go. Forgive. Don't revenge. This topic or this experience 
I did really experience this. When these things happened to me, I nearly commit suicide. But thanks God, God saved my life. And today I'm here to give a testimony to you. I have more to tell you. If you want a way to change your mood, just stick to my channel. And I promise you, you'll never regret it. I love you, but God loves you more than I do. If you like this video, please kindly do me a favor. Like it, comment, subscribe, and share it with your loved ones. And don't forget to leave me your comments, your thoughts, and your opinion. Ask me anything you want to ask me, and I'm ever ready to answer you. There are more stories coming. I will be preparing a nice video. Get to know me, and you will know more about patience. PTV, Anastasia Patience TV. Patience movement is in life. We need to exercise patience. Try exercising patience, and God will bless you. I love you, but God loves you more than I do. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Give it a thumb up if you like this video, okay? I love you so, so, so much. You watching Patience TV. BTV. Patience. Move mountains.